I noticed that my very very first video was a everyday makeup look so I thought I would update it because I do my makeup a little bit differently now I think I haven't watched it I'm too scared to watch it but I'm pretty sure I do it differently now because <laughs> that was back in 2016 and I've grown okay but as you can see I'm not wearing my wig so the next part you're about to see is me looking like a little boy but there's no makeup on my skin just bare okay and my lashes just not being there there's just not really there so onward with the video okay so I've already moisturized um, when I moisturize I use I use the um, vitamin C detox skin care um, invigorating skin booster this is from Superdog um, the L'Oreal Hydrogenous aloe water and then I mix that with the Nivea Men's Sensitive Post Shaving Balm. I'm still on that for the primer. <laughs> so now that we're moisturised and glowing, I look like a boy right now. Nonetheless, I'm about to change that. Um, I'm going to do my eyebrows. So what I use for my eyebrows, or I do for my eyebrows, is I haven't brushed them out yet. But I'm going to use the Morphe eyebrow pencil. I got this in a kit. It's a micro brow pencil in the colour Chocolate Pulse. It's um, double ended so there's a brush on one end and the pencil on the other. So I'm going to use the brush to just... I'm going to zoom these in a bit. And in. And just... Lay them all flat. Now that we've done that, we're just gonna pencil them in. Now, when I do my eyebrows, I you can't even see what I'm doing. Focus, honey. There we go. Oh god, my skin looks terrible. Anyway, I'm just gonna. I just like to go in. I'm really good at describing things I'm not. Um just just fill in wears. Just do your eyebrows like you normally would. This is when I'm trying to fill my eyebrows turn out really bad. I always keep a baby wipe seat, that's terrible. That's so bad. And that's when we're going with the baby wipe and just sort it. I like them to be a bit more rounded. And then I brush it through. See, as soon as you start brushing it through, it just kind of blends it a bit easier. If you're wondering why I'm looking this way, there's a mirror right there, like a bigger one. So I can look at it from a distance and it look like how people are going to see me. Um, when I do the front part, I just do little, like, little strokes because it just makes it more faint and not too thick because I don't want that. And then just brush it through. And we have one done. We got one done. Okay, that part's done. Now I'm gonna go in with the Morphe pomade. This is also in Chocolate because it came in a kit 
and I'm going to just take my brush if I can find it. Can I find it? I can't find it. Oh, I found it. Voila. Okay. We got a brush. And I'm just going to dip it. Oh, God. I'm just going to dip it in. And then just, I always start at the bottom and then work my way through to the top. Just kind of straighten that mess up that we just made with the pencil. And then the little strokes at the front. And honey, that's it. This part with the pomade is basically just to neaten up the pencil because the pencil can get quite messy. Okay, I gotta take my sister to make sure she doesn't come. What is this accent? I need to text my sister to make sure she doesn't come in my room whilst I'm filming this and whoa. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. We go text the sister and make sure she doesn't waltz into my room. We are going to visit the on Instagram and through text because we need to make sure she gets this. Okay. I have 10 minutes left of this, okay. So we're just gonna keep going. Um, eyebrows are almost done. I'm just gonna use the Morphe um, eyebrow. Ooh, guys, I ordered a black wig today. And I know that probably sounds weird considering I just shaved my head because of one reason of being bored of my black hair and now I just bought a black wig. I miss it. I miss having black hair. Anyway, now we're gonna do the face. So when I have a tan or like fake tan on I use my contour stick and then my BB cream as well and just blend it all together but my tan's coming off so I'm I'm gonna use the well I used the L'Oreal Glam Nude BB Cream. It's five in one, and I probably used too much of this on my face, but who cares? I just dot it around my forehead, down my nose, like a zigzag thing on my cheeks. Oh. Yeah. Just got some in the mouth. Yeah, it's gonna. Dot it around my face so you look like a warrior. And then I'm gonna get my buffing brush. done that I am now gonna go in with the it's make <laughs> it's coming off you see that yeah it's all coming off it's the makeup revolution fast base stick foundation in F C no that's my concealer F3 and I'm just gonna go over like the red parts of my face with this because it's thicker but I'm also gonna use concealer on it too because we want that full coverage okay maybe something there too and uh, oh hang on a minute 
and you do. And now we're going to go in with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in C3. I always think of Star Wars when I think of that, like the C3PO. <laughs> Not funny, but okay. And I'm just going to go like that. Like this is what I mean by going hard with the concealer. I just get in there and on the forehead, under the eyebrow, tip of the nose, up the nose. Well the bridge of the nose, I'm not actually going up the nose, you know. <laughs> um, and on my chin. Now that we've done that, I'm going to take my damp sponge. It's still kind of damp. I planned to do this this morning, but then people came to my house and my mum and my dad's and it was too loud to make a video. So I'm making it now and it is 252. Okay, like that, and then we look like a freaking ghost. And now it's time to add colour to our face by using um, the contour part. The I used this under here, and I'm going to use the same thing but a different colour in F14. Oh, that's backwards. And just get my contour places like. My news, forehead, temples, cheekbones, gotta get that double chin. And it up. Like that. Now, we're gonna take this brush, it's just a flat brush. This is a Real Techniques one. I just, it's the new Real Techniques. Real Techniques. Jeez. It's 303. It's just a contour brush, really. We're gonna go back in with this buffing brush and just buff it all in. I think I probably used too much here, but yeah. Now that we've done that part, I am going to set this with my talc. I don't got a talc, so I gotta go get it. And 
obviously make sure there's no creases under your eyes otherwise you're gonna set that and it's just you're gonna set the creases into your makeup and you don't want that and just yeah blend till it's smooth and then set it honey I do my eyeshadow. So I use the. This video is not sponsored by Morphe. I just realized how many Morphe uh, things that I use. Um, I use the Morphe 25B palette. Um, and despite how much colours there are, or like, yeah. center and most so I use this one here shouldn't have touched it with my hand but I just did and this brush it's a new techniques one but um I've used it so much that the names come off of it I think it's just a blending brush I'm not sure and I just kind of I take that color and I just pat it all over my eyeball and blend, blend it up because this is just the base colour and it doesn't really matter um, how perfect or not it is and now I'm going to take another brush which is yeah this is just from a I think I used this on my very, very first YouTube video. So it shows, shows how long I've had this brush for. So I'm going to take oh fuck. Oops. Now I'm going to take um, this colour here and go on the outer corner. Just go in the inner corner, like inner corner and then up to the crease. Jeez, I can't talk to you. I think I just gotta eat my fan, but I don't know when I'm gonna eat and I don't know why this southern accent keeps coming out. I'm not even the southern. I just sound like an idiot. <laughs> and I'm doing the same on the other side. I'll go back in with that colour and just go under, under here. Like that. Smoke it. Okay, we're done. That's literally all I do for my eyes. <laughs> Sometimes I'll like add a darker colour on top of that to like intensify the smokiness, but we're not gonna do that today because it's gonna get washed off soon anyway. Now mascara I this is like the most detailed part that I do is mascara. So I use the L'Oreal Paradise 
this one. I used this one. And then, so I used this one first and then I used a brow and lash gel. And then I used the roller lash to like separate them. So I'll show you. We're gonna go. I don't curl my lashes because my lashes don't curl. They just always stick out, doesn't matter how much curling I do. They don't do shit. I see you looking for a mascara face. I don't have one. I don't think. I mean, you're the one that's watching me. Tell me below if I have a mascara face, because. I'm not exactly watching myself. Okay. I don't do the bottom until I put my lashes on. Now we're going to put the lash gel on. And then Okay, now we've done with that, I'm going to take my powder brush and just go all over the face and like get rid of that like talc that I had on. Now it's time to like add colour to our face because right now we look like a ghost. So I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to use my fuller bronzer. Funny story, I ran out of the full size one and then I bought a magazine, I can't remember which one it was, it was probably L or something, and this was in it as a freebie and I've just been too cheap to just buy the full size again and just continued to, to use this small one until this runs out. Yeah, I'm just going to use a, this is another, no this is a powder brush, I'm using a, a bronzer brush. I'm just going to go my cheekbones I look paler in the camera than I do like in real life so this probably looks ridiculous right now and back in this I just feel like this brush blends everything together just nicely. Now I'm going to take the same brush that I used for my bronzer and use my blush. I'm not, my blush is probably out of date and Mac have stopped doing it and I've had it since like 2012 and yeah. So I used the Mac Super Continental and yeah, I use out of date blush. I like to put some of that on my nose too. And up here. Like. Now. I use is the what a surprise the Morphe and Bretman Rock Babe in Paradise palette so I'm just going to use Vacation this one here and a blush brush because I'm just that professional and coat coat it and just show it on my cheeks because again who needs precise? 
This is my everyday look after. It's nothing too special. Then I'm gonna take a fluffy brush. These are just the ones that you get from the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, palettes. And go on my cupid's bow, a little bit on my chin, and then up my nose and on the bridge. And just yeah. Oh, and under the eye. Oh wait, no we're not. Mm -mm, honey, no. We need more of this nose. shadow brush to blend the highlight into the shadow. Now that my eyebrows are now kind of a mess since doing the rest of my makeup, I'm gonna go through them a bit. There's probably still some putty left on this, so I'm just gonna go over that. said this oh, we gotta set it now <laughs> I've run out of setting spray so I need to use hairspray now I would not recommend that because it's probably toxic for me but if you have setting spray, you use your setting spray to set this face, okay? But I'm gonna go get my hairspray, set my face, and I'm back. Okay, I'm set. Wipe my lips off because they have hairspray on them. And we all know that doesn't taste good. Okay, now lashes. Now I'm just gonna do my bottom lashes. Same routine as the top lashes but it's on the bottom ones okay now we're gonna put our falsies on and and then honey we're done oh wait no oh jeez um the lashes I use are from a brand called bougie Bougie lashes, and these are in the number E7. Now, I went onto their website yesterday and they're sold out of almost all of their lashes, but that's to be ex expected because all their lashes are either £5 or £7.50, and that's amazing to me because they're just so cute and they're just like the perfect length. And they're so just, I just love them and they're cheap and they last ages and honey sponsor me. I will wear all of your lashes at once. Maybe not at once, I would hurt my eyes. I think. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just gonna use Use the duo glue and it's the quick set one and it's the white one so it goes clear when you and it dries. I'm sorry if you can hear my stomach rolling. 
I can't help it. It won't shut up. I gotta feed it. But I don't have any gluten tablets, so I can't eat anything really in this house because it's all got gluten in it. And I don't want to be ill just from eating. You get me. I have some for tomorrow. But you didn't need to know that's what I'm saying. <sighs> are done. Now I'm just gonna shove some pineapple and mint comics on. And girl. We are done. We are shining. We are glowing. We're not, well, we're glowing, but we're not like tanned glowing. You get me? We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Now, mm, I don't think I'm gonna wear my wig today because I'm just not, I can't really put it on. So we're just gonna have to zoom out here. And. We're good. And this is my everyday makeup look. Well, I say everyday, I don't do this everyday because I don't wear makeup everyday. But you know, this is just my go-to basic look that I do when I do my makeup. I'm not like very adventurous with my makeup. I just stick to my neutrals. But, girl, if you want me to try and be creative, then I will. I'm just gonna find the eyeshadow to do it. <laughs> All my palettes are like neutral colours, nothing too <coughs> extreme. Um, but if you want to see it, I will do it. Okay? Okay. Okay. I will see you in my next video.